How you doing out there guys? Hope you're all keeping well. I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome to the channel. Now, the other day I had a company email me and uh, they said they wanted to send me Superbox. With this, got rather excited and uh, was rubbing my hands together with the uh, thought of receiving a crate of beers. But to my disappointment, apparently Superbox isn't a crate of beers. It is a smart media player. So what exactly makes this smart media player, screaming box, whatever you want to call it, better than all the other ones out there on the market? Well, for starters, it's super, so it's got to be better, hasn't it, really? Um, I mean, I hope it isn't just a super box and there is actually something inside it. Sounds like there is, so uh, that's a good start. But what they uh, claim to offer over rivals is the fact that there is uh, over 10,000 movies that are free and over a thousand channels that are free. Now I will say this box isn't the cheapest thing on the market but I think the angle that they're trying to come from is that uh, you can do away with your subscription services and over a period of time the savings that you make from those subscription services that you're binning off um, will pay for you know the ownership of this box. Now, if you do like what you see in this video, and I'm talking about the Superbox, not myself, then I'll be leaving a link in the description where you can go and pick one of these up for yourselves. And I think there's gonna be some discount codes I'm gonna be able to put in as well for you guys so you'll be able to uh, save yourself a few quid. Now, I don't know what this box is gonna be like. Obviously, I've not opened it up yet, so it could be an absolute hunk of junk, I don't know. But uh, we will unbox it and uh, you know take a tour around uh, what you get is in contents wise, set it up, fire it up, see what it's like. So let's crack on. Rightio then, let's kick off this video by taking a tour around the outside of the packaging. So this is the Superbox S1 Pro Smart Media Player with 6K 3D, don't you know? Um, don't know anyone who's got a 6K TV, but hey, maybe you do. Round this side there says Superbox. Then around this side, we have dual band Wi-Fi, two gig of memory, supports 6K. Look, there's that 6, 6K TV right there. So clearly there is one on the market. OTA and H2.65. Nothing much round that side. Uh, and that's about it really. So let's... Uh, Crack it open and see what delights it has to offer. So first off, we have the super box itself by the looks of it. Let's slip this out of its packaging. Oh, and it looks uh, very reminiscent of my 4K Apple TV box. So we've got the Superbox logo on the top there. S1 Pro on the front. Sorry for my camera isn't uh, focusing properly. So SD card slot there. Couple of USBs. Uh, restore button by the looks of it. Um, antenna. AV, HDMI, LAN cable. And that is our power input by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A couple of rubberized feet. Oh, a bit wobbly. Uh, so yeah, not very level that. Um, but still, it's uh, got a little bit of weight to it. Not as much weight as my 4K Apple TV box. Uh, it's not overly light. Um, I, I'd probably expect it to be a little bit heavier, but still, but that's a little bit of a manufacturing fail right there. Right, let's move on and uh, see what else is in the box. So we have a HDMI cable, very nice. Just a sort of budget one. No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got my tape measure to hand and I'll just quickly measure this up for you guys, see how long that is. And that comes in at 1.2 meters or 
uh, 47 and a quarter inches. Moving on and uh, we have our little antenna there, which I'm guessing just screws on like that. Oh, how clever am I? Look at that. You can tell I went to school, can't you? Simple as that. Right, next up, we have our little power brick, which uh, isn't a UK one. That is a uh, like American, is that American one? I think it is something like that. I know it ain't UK. Uh, so something to bear in mind there, um, that it might not come with a UK plug on it. But what I'll do is uh, just quickly measure the length of this uh, cable for you guys again. And that comes in at 1.5 meters or 59 inches. Moving on to the remote control now. Let's just slip it out of its protective wrapper. And uh, we'll start off around the back. And uh, it's a uh, matte finish to that, as you can see right there. Pop it open the battery compartment. And looks like it requires two AAA batteries. And they are not included. Moving around to the front and you can see it is a glossy affair. Plastic doesn't feel overly cheap. You know, I felt cheaper plastics, not the best quality, but not the worst. Um, plenty of buttons on it. Buttons are uh, squidgy, quite a nice feel to them. But I would have expected a slightly better remote for the uh, price you are paying for the box. But hopefully it will perform uh, fine. But we will see once we uh, fire the box up. And uh, on that note, I think that's what we should do right now. Now, what I have done is skipped ahead the initial setup for you guys, as I didn't think it was worth boring you with that. And uh, I have had just a initial flick around and to be fair the remote control is uh yeah nice and responsive it doesn't seem to be laggy um so what we just quickly do is pop into the settings so memory wise looks like we've got two gig moving on up to the storage and that says that it's got a total of 16 gig and uh Six gig of that is already being used just to uh, run the device. So it looks like you just get um, just shy of 10 gig there. Uh, not a massive amount, but I'm guessing the apps don't really take up that much space. So uh, just coming back out of that. And uh, one thing I have noticed on this remote control is that there is a little option there for a cursor. Just press on that. And there we go. We get a little cursor up on the screen. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty responsive. Obviously, you've got to use your directional keys, but, um, you know, if you haven't got a uh, mouse or anything, at least it's another option. So what we're going to do is uh, pop into the App Store now. And this is the own App Store for this uh, box itself. As you can see, there's a Play Store there. So let's just uh, fire up that. So we've got a disclaimer notice there. Just let this run through now. There we go, we've got a selection of apps there, but the two apps that we're going to concentrate on are Blue TV, which is your live TV, and Blue VOD, which is your movies and box sets. So I'm going to click on Blue TV first, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to download and install. So let's uh, click on that. And, uh, well, that's moved uh, pretty quick, that uh, bar there. And, well, looks like it's downloaded and installed already. So what we need to do now is back out of this. And we need to press on Live TV. And then we're going to press on Add. And then we're going to press on Blue TV. And when we back out of that, that should have added it. Yeah, there we go. So that is in our Live TV just there now before we go any further and i do fire up some live tv i just want to make it perfectly clear that i cannot show um any of these channels live for a prolonged period of time so i am going to be rapid firing through these channels so please 
uh, just understand that and uh, bear with me as I flick through them quick. But I will go ahead and have a more detailed look off camera and I will let you guys know what the quality is like. So let's just uh, fire this up and uh, see how it goes. So uh, it's just sort of booting up now. And any luck? Yeah. Looks like it, straight away we're in there. Let's just turn down the volume there. Oh, we've got a uh, menu there of uh, different channels. So, let's just flick for a few of these. All seems to be working fine at the moment. Yeah, all good. Slight delay, but only minimal at the moment when I'm clicking on something. I mean, yeah, that's uh, more than good enough to be fair. Public expenditures to fight the and uh, yeah, very responsive. So I'm flicking through the uh, sort of channel list there. Oh, hang up a little bit on that then. But uh, seems to be moving again fine there. Moving across on the menu now, and uh, we've got a few categories there. So we've got all, favourite, network, regional locals, sports networks, 24-7. Uh, you've got your pay-per-view events there. Um, I would show you some of them, but there's none on at the moment, obviously, uh, with all this going on in the world. Yeah, so your sports stuff and that, and uh, yeah, just click on something on there. see if there's anything on this yeah it all seems to be loading up just fine there and so far so good back on the main channel menu now and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just flick all the way back through the channels to see how many it's actually got and uh, well, there you go. As you can see, it has got a grand total of 1,111 channels. So plenty to choose from. Uh, now, what I'm going to do now is just press all the way left on the directional button. And this brings up our uh, search menu here and the uh, big long list of all the channels to choose from. So what I'm going to do is just have a... Uh, brief flick through this so you guys can have a uh, look for yourself at some of the channels that are on offer obviously i'm not going to go through all of them um because obviously there's over a thousand but what i do is just uh, have a quick flick through you guys can pause it for yourselves and then uh, look back on uh, what's uh, on offer so uh we won't hang around too long doing this but, um yeah this gives you some idea there of uh some of the things, uh, you know, some popular stuff there that I know that I would definitely be uh, watching. Yeah, and th in all fairness, this is not hanging around. Again, when I'm scrolling through this menu now, this is doing it without stuttering or hesitation. It's nice and responsive. And that's exactly uh, what you want, really. You know, no one likes a uh, laggy remote control. So I've uh, got plenty of sports stuff there. Not into sports myself, really, but I know a lot of you guys are. Now, what I am going to say to you guys is that I have just had a quick watch of some channels uh, off camera. And uh, to be fair, again, um, it's not bad. The quality is not bad at all. Just like any sort of um, box that I've had over the years, even my uh, Sky box, you know, it's hit and miss. The, there are some that look really, really good and others, you know, look quite poor. 7 out of 10 for picture quality on average, which isn't too bad when you consider how many channels there are. Your more popular channels are always going to look better. Um, you know, your sort of cartoon stuff and all that from your, your main sort of uh, providers, if you want to look at it like that. But overall, um, yeah, I'd say I'm pretty pleased with the overall picture quality. Back in the App Store once again. This time it's Blue VOD. 
and uh, let's see how long this takes to uh, download and install. So let's click on the remote. And there we go, downloaded already. And any second I thought, there we go, installed. Again, fair play, that's uh, pretty impressive. Now just quickly before I fire up this other app, and uh, that is that I wanna say to you guys that I have been hearing and uh, watching other videos about this box and it is a mixed bag of reviews there are people out there that say this box is absolutely amazing other people saying they would not touch it with a barge pole now as you can see so far my um, experience with it has been a positive one so what I'm going to su suggest to you guys is that me being as open and honest as I am please go and check out some other YouTubers reviews to get a bigger overall picture of what this box is like and I'd like to think that me saying that to you guys would show you how open and honest I am so anyway with uh, that little speech out of the way what we're going to do now is uh, add this VOD blue VOD so that is done now and uh, let's fire that up once again I'm not going to really be able to show you guys any of the movies playing um, it's this parental password no we don't want to do that but we'll just have a uh, quick look around here so we've got newest movies TV series um, but we'll have a look at movies I think that's what a lot of you guys are going to be interested in so let's wait for that far up. That's uh, done that pretty quick. So you've got your uh, different categories there, new releases and whatnot, action. And uh, yeah, it seems to be, re again, responding pretty well. Slight delay in it loading up there, but nothing too bad. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a load of junky movies on there. Do you know what I mean? Sort of things that you probably never want to watch anyway. But um, you've got Bad Boys, I think that's the latest one. Yeah, looks like it. Sonic there. So, you know, it looks like there are, you know, some of the newest, newer films uh, to the market on there. Jumanji, I know that's a new one as well. Not a bad selection from what I can see. I can say some rubbishy things in there, but, you know, this is to be expected. When you've got um, so many on offer, you know, they're not all going to be Hollywood blockbusters. Now, what I have just done is I've loaded up a couple of films and watched them off camera. A um, bit more of a delay with those loading up, I'd say, was around about 10 seconds for each of the films to start getting going. Um, which isn't the best, but again, you know, if you're sitting down and watch a film for a couple of hours, what's 10 seconds really in the grand scale of things? Probably not a massive deal. Now, one thing that I did pick up on was when I was using the remote control and uh, tried to use the play, fast forward, rewind buttons, etc. on the uh, movies, it was uh, not doing anything. I just had to use the uh, directional sort of arrows there to uh, get it to go fast forward or rewind. Now, before we wrap up this video, I'm just going to try one more thing out, and that's to see if this box is capable of uh, streaming 4K content from YouTube. So let's go into the apps, and I've already downloaded YouTube, so let's uh, fire it up. YouTube has loaded up perfectly fine, as you would expect, and I'm on my own channel now, and just flicking through the menus again, as you can see, it's uh, perfectly fine, no stuttering or lagging, and it's nice and responsive on the remote control. And as you can see, it even lights up when you press the button. Now, I have a piece of my own 4K content here that we're uh, going to fire up now and uh, see how it goes. So, let's hit that play button. And we are off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the resolution because I know YouTube have uh, changed it that it doesn't automatically start off in the highest resolution. And as I suspected, it's not in 4K, it is in 720p. So let's knock it up to 4K. At least we have got the option there for 4K. But let's see if it will play back. And with any luck... Mm, bit of a lag, bit of delay. 
Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, no, what a shame. Oh, it's buffering. So we're getting the audio. If you guys can hear that. But the picture has frozen up. What a shame. It was all going so well. Oh, no, that is a nightmare. No, oh, that is a big disappointment, that. Might not be a massive deal to uh, you guys out there, but still, um, that's not great. You just back out of it and try it again, but I think it's uh, not going to have any of it. Let's just try it one more time. Let's just check the resolution. And no, it don't look like it's going to play. A no for the 4K on YouTube, I'm afraid. There you go, that was the Superbox S1 Pro, and I would love to hear your feedback on it. Do you think it is worth the money, or do you think it is an utter rip-off? Do you think there are better alternatives out there on the market that may be cheaper? If there are, please let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you have enjoyed this video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to the channel, then maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.